Hi, this is The Recruiting Maven. Welcome back to my channel. As you know, on my channel, we normally discuss the fourth industrial revolution and what that's gonna to mean to you and your job. Today's conversation is very different. It's more of a sit down, let's chat, let's kind of review 2020 because I know a lot of people are having oh, a challenging time. Um, and I just wanted to be upfront with you where I am today. And as a contractor, I'm always looking for jobs. So I'm always having to reevaluate where I work um, how I'm working, the teams that I work for, the companies that I work for. And it's always challenging because sometimes it's not a fit. And sometimes it's a great fit. And there's no other opportunity to grow with that company. And so as a contractor, I know that I have to seriously just sit down with myself and really understand who I am, what I want out of life, as opposed to, I could tell you, you know, what I don't want in life. And I think most people rattle off, I don't want this and I don't want that. And so when you ask them, even from a recruitment standpoint, and we're in an interview type of situation, what is it that you do want? A lot of them just give me the typical, I want great benefits, you know, I want to grow. But then there really isn't that expansion on that. And so I challenge you, you know, have you done that work this year when you had the opportunity in quarantine, did you do the work? Did you understand where you were, not only on a professional level, but on a personal level? A lot of times we expect things to just happen magically and you know, they just really don't. We have to really cultivate ourselves into a better place, into a better place of resonance within ourselves. You know, the, the negative and constant ongoings in our mind about this or that situation, so-and-so said this to me and, and whatever else may have happened to you at that day, in that company, at that job, whatever the situation is, that negative constant dialogue that you have running in the back of your head, you know, is that serving you well? Um, maybe that could be something that you work on in 2021. As we know that 2021 isn't really gonna change too much in terms of the pandemic, uh, jobs, and so I don't think in the next, we have less than 30 days, today is, um, I don't even know, it's December 10th. And so I don't think at 12.01, and when it hit, you know, the clock hits to that 2021 setting, then how, uh, you know, what, do you, what are you gonna do with all the changes that are happening, not only on a global scale, but within your job? And we talk a lot on this channel about the fourth industrial revolution, what that's gonna to mean to you and your job. A lot of changes are happening and has been pushed even faster and forward because of the pandemic and people working from home. And so I challenge you to, in these last few days of 2020, as arduous as it's been, I've had, you know, I actually have family outside of the US. Most of us are not based in the US, nor were we born here. And some of us come from communist country and we were born into communist country. and. Some of us really resent being told what to do on any level because we've been in that, you know, other extreme um, of type of government that we find very unacceptable and very challenging on so many levels. I, I can't say that enough. But for those of you who don't live in the U.S. and I know quite a few of you don't, you know what I'm saying to you. And um, you don't know what you don't know until you've experienced it, and you can't experience that kind of. Um, rules and regulations and restrictions unless you actually have lived through it. You can hear about it and it sounds very idealistic, but at the end of the day, it's not. And um, some very negative and harsh things have happened to my family living in those types of regimes. And so for those of you again who live outside the US and watch my channel, I know that you understand. For those of you who are in the US, I would challenge you to really explore um, some of those themes outside and, and really educate yourself about what's happening because what happens to one person happens to all of us. Uh, we have the power to change the world, but only within ourselves. And so, you know, uh, how you move forward from this point, from today and into 2021 is gonna affect you, your family, your coworkers, your business or the company that you work for. And so the challenge is for me to you is, are you living to work or are you working to live? Now, my family is based out of Italy, Spain, France, <laughs> quite a few other countries. Um, and 
it's it's very different outside of the US we don't just live to work and I know that the first thing when I found very shocking when I moved to the US was that people always ask you what do you do for a living but you really aren't just that and have you reflected have you given yourself the opportunity to reflect on that have you you know wanted to make those changes this year and um, just didn't have the courage to confront yourself in the mirror and say well I need to apologize to this person I need to make some adjustments on my attitudes and how I approach people I need to make changes where I live I need to whatever fill in the blank and so those are some of the challenges that a lot of us have had to face and for me I have to do that on a continuous basis in terms of my career because I'm a contractor, so I'm always looking for my next gig. <laughs> that never stops. But it also gives you some insight as we do these videos. It gives you some insight as to what's happening. You know, what's the latest thing in terms of recruitment? So, um, you know, I urge you to just take a moment if you haven't so far. And, you know, maybe if you need to apologize, if you need to make whatever changes um, that you wouldn't feel necessary on a personal level, on a professional level, and you may have to apologize to somebody professionally. I don't know, but I would urge you to try and start on a clean slate in 2021 because I will tell you, some of these issues are going to continue. And yes, we have a vaccine coming up, and that's great. Um, I, th that's wonderful, but the same time it isn't just going to magically resolve it again at 1201 when we turn our you know our clocks and our calendars to 2021 and so part of this reassessment that I'm always asking you to do on this channel is to simply take a look at your career what is actually happening in the world how is AI how is the fourth industrial revolution which touches essentially on every single profession there is out there I mean, Atlas is set to, you know, transform the military. So hopefully, you know, those people that are on the front lines are not going to be killed and dismembered and, and maimed and all these horrific things that happen. Uh, drone uh, jobs are very predominant nowadays. So as much as some of these jobs are going to be going away, and they are, I know that the media isn't really talking about that. And so I urge you to watch some of my videos Try and reflect during this period of time as to where you are today and where you're heading into tomorrow. And tomorrow isn't, you know, December 11th, 2020. It's in the next year, in the next three to five years, in the next 10 years, because the next five to 10 years, I will tell you, not only the stats are in from the World Economic Forum, but several other major sources that will say to you, yes, we are gonna go through a major labor turnover, what that is gonna end up being. We don't know exactly because all these new technologies with AI, machine learning, 5G, all of that is gonna come into play heavily on your career. And it used to be in prior um, industrial revolutions, only one industry got affected and now it's every single industry. Even for me, when COVID hit and our staff was heavily reduced by 50% in my last contract. It, you know, what was replaced? AI, chatbots, who now engage the candidates who are applying for a new position. Um, and it takes a lot of the work off the recruiter. So not as many recruiters are needed. And we haven't even hit 2021. But again, the pandemic is setting a precedence and it's pushing us forward probably into a an area that we're not as comfortable, let's be honest. But as with anything, AI actually has been um, piloting planes for the last 15 years, and yet we still get on planes. And so when we start to argue with ourselves and maybe other people around us about how we don't trust uh, artificial intelligence and how it's biased, well, ultimately, it always falls back on who's writing the code, right? H how are those codes originating and how are they being deployed? Are they transparent? Do we understand what's, how are people are being assessed, say in a talent pool of new candidates? And so those conversations, we'll have those next year for sure because there's so, there's so many changes happening and very quickly that people just can't seem to stay ahead of those conversations and really have a deeper understanding. So given that, I want to challenge you yet again 
and making sure that you're watching some of these videos and having that deeper understanding how your industry is changing, how it will affect your industry if it's not pertinent to you. And what other possibilities are there for you and your career if in fact your job gets phased out like mine did? So again, this is just a very impromptu, my actual, my actual video that I did um, just had some technical issues. So I just wanted to have essentially more of a heart to heart conversation about you, your career, your goals, and really urging you to start fresh as of 2021. I, I can't say that enough because I think we all need a reset <laughs> uh, mentally, spiritually, and, and physically, right? Um, I certainly been doing a lot of exercising, which helps me mentally. Uh, physically and spiritually to to ground myself and so again I just wish you the very best of everything for 2021 um, and I will see you in my next video take care and have a lovely rest of your week